Hello and welcome back to Simply Solo Playthroughs with the Chipmunk Gamer. That is me. And we are here today with a great little game called Spaceship. And the reason I'm playing this is Button Shy has a new uh, Kickstarter and it plays off of this particular game. And so I decided it'd be time to do another great playthrough of Spaceship. So we start with set to one. Okay, there, our shields are set to one. We start out with three mega credits or three million credits or three M. I guess we'll need some spray adhesive or something. And we start here, over here. This is our buy row. This is the other row that we can buy. Um, this is a great 18 card game. I think it's 18 cards. <laughs> and uh, like they usually make. Okay, we start with Orbital Encounter. You find a cache of long forgotten. Uh, gain the first resource in the row. Perfect. We will buy some liquid fuel. That is very good. So we then go to a spy is looking to trade ships. You may purchase. Oh, these go like this. I. Why do I do this? You may purchase an available ship for the difference in the cost between your ship and the new one. Well, that's eight free. So that's eight. That's not going to help me at all. Plan sighting. Um, and then we can. Cool. We can buy rocks for one. We'll sell them next time. We are going to sell our liquid fuel. Which is kind of convenient. That gives us to 12 right off the bat. That's pretty nice. Planetary scanners, no. Okay. So we want to buy, we'll make two, we're not gonna make any money. Asteroids, we're gonna buy one asteroid. That takes us down to 11 mucho credits. And do we want to buy the ship? We can buy the ship next turn. Okay, so that's going to end this turn. This gets flipped up over to here. There we go. This gets flipped to here. Ooh, engineer. And we have our orbital encounter. A Roshnish Lord gives you a choice. Lose two million or take two points of damage. I will lose two mucho points. I'll take him down to nine. I do not want to lose damage. Um, shipyard workers on strike. You now purchase any new ships or equipment this turn. Oh well. I do get to, however, sell my asteroid for three. So I back up to my 11 mega credits. I can't do anything here. I can purchase an engineer. Yeah. No. Wow. That's nice. That's really nice. Okay. I'll have to think about that one. And anything I want to purchase. I don't have any spare parts to purchase. I could buy some. Oh, I read the wrong one. It's only three, so I have six. Okay, so I'm at five. Oh, that was a huge mistake. Okay. So 
7734. And I've got two liquid fuels I can buy. Um, I will buy one. Takes me down to two. Yeah, and that'll be all. I'm only gonna take a chance on one. A damaged vehicle needs critical parts. Receive two points of damage to gain a, pl a plenarium. And it is available. And that is definitely worth a seven. So we will take the damage. This time I will take the damage. That's one, two. I do have the room, which is good news. A competitor loses a valuable customer due to cultural misunderstanding. You need to buy any one resource for three mega credits. We will do so. And these are not resources. So we will buy a liquid fuel because we're planet side. I'm going to assume that we can do that. We're a minus one. Then we will go on ahead and we will sell our liquid fuel for four, eight. That gets me to seven. Plenonium for seven. That gets me to 14. Only had a little bit more. Okay, so over here. I'm going to go ahead and buy this guy for... I'll get me down to six. I can repair a sh sh one hull. I will pay one mucho credit to get shields back up. And asteroids I can double money with, and that's it. We will buy two asteroids for one each. That gets me back down to three. And we start our fun. So this will move to here. This gets turned to one, to three. This goes up and over. This gets flipped. And we go to orbital encounter. A low level marauder mistakes you for a criminal and passes you as loot. Gain one. I like that. A group of loaf and arm <laughs> dealers try to scare you. Lose one or one point of damage. I will take the damage this time because I have the engineer. Um, we're going to go on ahead and we're going to flat out sell for four. Gets us to eight. We will have our engineer repair one. And we can buy asteroids. We can buy a liquid fuel. We're going to go on ahead and buy two liquid fuel. Right, pair of parts. No, no, liquid fuel. Because we need to get a bigger ship. And that takes us down to six, down to two. Mucho credits. This moves over here. This moves over.
Oh. Down to two. A kind hearted mechanic stops by offering repair services for free. Repair up to two points of shields, hull, and or ships. So I guess we're fine. A witness to a, you are a witness to a crime. Receive two points of damage. <laughs> oh, hold on. And then we get to sell. We'll sell liquid fuel for six for a total of 12. That takes us to 14. Do we want to buy a ship? At 16, I could buy it. But I'm not going to. Okay, so let's take a look at the market now. Spare parts. So we can make one on each. So we buy that. That takes us down to nine. And I guess we will buy spare parts for two. Yeah, one of the or, uh, orbital encounters is lose a resource, and it's always worth having a low-cost resource. Expert navigator, you mean skip an entire turn. Okay. Electrical storms interfere with your shielding. Your shields receive two points of damage. Okay. We don't, oh, we forgot to repair one of our hulls. So that's only shields that receive the damage. A micro black here appeals. Lose one resource. And as I was just talking about. That's good. It's only two that I lost. We will sell the platoon. Then we go to this surface and we will sell eight. That gets us to 15. And two, one, three, three, five, seven, eight, six. Best we can buy is liquid fuel. I guess we're gonna buy two liquid fuels. That gets us down to five. Mucho credits. Okay, so we will be able to buy a crystal now. Keep in mind we also take that ship out. Free cargo. That would be nice to have. Marauders are on the hunt for resources. Choose receive three points of damage or lose one liquid fuel or plutonium. Oh. That takes us down to here. Okay, I'm going to take the chance to take the damage. Okay, we will definitely take the damage. Okay, so we are going to go plant um, plant side. You find an opening at a shipyard. You may repair any hull and or shield for one mucho point. So we will go on ahead and we'll have our engineer replace one. And point one, so it's one, two, We sell our liquid fuel for seven each. That's 14. That's 17. Almost a 20. I can almost get it. 
so cool. So, okay, so what do we want to buy? Spare parts are worth two, and that's it. I am going to buy this. So, as I understand the rules, we're going to do a rule check. 15 parsecs later. Okay, so, this means we get rid of basic shielding. I'm not 100% sure I want to do that. I am going to, though. Interesting thing I just read. Leftmost. So I did that one wrong before, but that's okay. Okay, so we have this. We have... We just bought... So we're buying spare parts. We will also buy this spare part that takes us down to 11. Engineer does not need to fix anything. Okay, yep, we don't want to buy anything else. This gets flipped over. Bigger ship. That is what I was looking for. A wealthy business person asks you for a ride, gain one. If you have less than a full cargo hold, we have a full cargo hold. With shortage of jobs, locals are willing to negotiate rates. You may hire a new available crew member for two mega credits less. Oh well, so we go to the marketplace. We will go on ahead and sell. For 10, that gets me to 21. I am going to buy a crystal. That cakes us all the way down to one. Okay, we will go on ahead and buy there are no asteroids to buy. Oh, hold on. One. I may not want to do this. Six, five, eight. Okay, we're not going to buy this. We are, however, going to buy. Hello, cat. We're going to buy that for eight. For five, excuse me, so that takes us to 16. And, oh man. We need something else. Lego fuel is seven, I am gonna have to buy this. Takes us down to 11. Okay. The turn ends immediately. Oh, I was afraid of that. I was really, really afraid of that. You went that you enter a short range wormhole. The turn ends immediately, skip planet side and market phase. So the bad news. Oh, this is bad. Huh? I'm gonna have to sell for one less. Dang nabbit. And the worst part is second worst part. I know what this card is. 
Solar storms throw off your navigation. Shuffle and deal out the colony equipment and resources card at the end of this. T oh, at the end of this turn. Not phase. Oh, good. I get this. Oh, what do I want to do now? Okay, I have no clue what anything is going to be worth. So, 7 gives me the 18. And... I'm going to take my chances and hold on to the parts. Yeah, okay. And do I want to buy the ship here? Yeah, we're going to. Or... which gets me to 21 and then I can go on ahead and buy the crystal I'm not gonna buy the crystal because regardless I'm gonna be able to sell sell parts okay I'm gonna be okay oh but like what fuel Xeno crystal Okay, so, turn ends immediately. I was going to buy this one. Wealthy bears, I should write if you have. Oh, I have less than a full. That's 19. Good. You recover a missing relic. Gain two. One, two. Buy a Xeno crystal. Takes me down to one. Mucho credit. Okay. What should I do? Ah. Okay. We want to go on ahead and sell our spare parts for five. That's good. That gets us to six. And keep in mind, Xeno crystals do not take over any space. So we want to uh five five six five seven five two one. Oh, this is horrible. I will go on ahead and buy an asteroid. Well, that does not seem to be the smartest business move. Seeing I'm gonna lose one. Um, it is actually pretty a smart move. I am going to buy the Riptide. Because I want some extra space. And some extra shielding. Okay. So the Riptide has three cargo spaces. That's more of what I'm after. It's more so than anything else. Okay. This goes back up here, this over here, flip over, expand a crew quarters, and we employ two crew members at the same time. Nice. And interstellar dust clouds damage your instruments, receive one point of damage for each item you buy or sell this turn. <sighs> okay. Five, five. Three, I'm sorry, five, three, one, three. So we are going to buy one item. Hold on, we were at one, we're at zero. Okay. You can go down to net minus two, which is kind of nice. Okay, that ends this turn.
Solar rinse roll off your navigation and shuffle and deal out the entire out the colony equipment rows at the end of this turn. Slow down the shipyards, repair any hull or shield damage for one mucho per point per two points of damage. Ooh, nice. Okay. And we can buy and sell. Now, the problem is we don't know what we're getting into. So who knows where we're going, but we do get to sell this for six. Three, 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 seven. The liquid fuel will be nice to buy for six, for three. And that's it. Okay, so we go on ahead. Who knows where we're going to end up? We will then go ahead and set out one, two, three. This is interesting. We'll do from the bottom one, two, three, and then we will do this again. Okay, so how do I liquid fuel? Six, nice. Okay, so electrical storms interferes with your shielding. Receive two points of your shields. Receive two points of damage. I do not have shields up, so I don't receive damage. Don't know how that one works. You recover a missing relic. Gain two. We'll take that. We will sell our liquid fuel for six. That gets us to eleven. Our two five. Oh, I like that. Five, five, six, five, three, one. We will only buy this for two. That takes us to nine. Yeah, you haven't been able to do much lately, have you? Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. It's one of the problems. This game has a tendency to move. And an item is confiscated during cargo inspections. Lose one resource unless you pay four to keep it. Shoot. We are actually going to pay four. And you find an opening at shipyard. You may repair any hole. Okay, for one point. No big deal. Okay, so we are going, since it is worth five, we will pay the four. We will sell it. That means we get one. That's ten. So we actually... Gain a profit on that one. That was actually good. I feel like a Ferengi here. Okay. Five, five, one, one, five, seven. Liqua fuel. Do I want to buy a liqua fuel? That takes me down to zero. Oh, this game, this game is something else. Interstellar dust damages your instruments. Receive one point of damage for everything. Great. If you find a ban, you find a bando cargo transport. If there's an asteroid, which there isn't. I wish there was. That would have been nice. So we will go on ahead and sell our liqua fuel for 14. Take a point of damage. Oh, two points of damage. Our engineer heals one. Five, five, one, uh, that doesn't help. Five to six. But there isn't any. So I can buy spar parts. 
or nothing. Spare parts isn't worth buying, it's too expensive. I have to say, I really like how this car, this game is designed with all the... It makes good use of everything. And... <sighs> throws off your navigation, so at the end of our turn... Solar day at the shipyard, slow day. Repair one for two. We'll just have our engineer repair one. Okay, two for asteroid. Five, four, seven, six. Oh, there isn't any. Dang, Nabbit. Um, the only thing really worth buying is the asteroid. And that's iffy if you're even going to make money on that. I am going to try and hope our navigation throws this off well. Here we go again. Start again. Draw from the bottom. And we're going to do the same thing again. Okay. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> two. Your shields receive two points of damage. Okay. Spy is looking to trade ships. There's no ships available. And we get to sell. We actually can make some money on our asteroid. That gets us to 14. Liquid fuel is too expensive to buy, but parts are not. And we'll buy, take us down to 10. And Solar rain, throw off your navigation, shuffle, and deal out the colony equipment and resource at the end of this turn. Okay. So. Oh, that's a bummer. Liquid fuel would have been well worth buying. Okay, so we're going to sell our spare parts for... Six. Um, nothing else is worth buying here. Asteroid certainly is not. Liquid fuel is worth buying. We're just going to have to hope. Here we go. We're going to reshuffle again. From the bottom of the deck. Good, 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 good. Bad, 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 bad. Okay, so. Bad waypoint causes you to arrive late to market. All resource costs plus one and selling is minus one. Okay, so the only thing worth buying is Asteroid that'll take us down to six. Planetary scanners for five. And Wealthy Transport asks you for a ride. Gain one. Good. Out of work mechanics help you with doesn't matter. And we can go on ahead and sell. We will sell our asteroid for three. One, two, three. That takes us to 20. 
Yay! And two spare parts is worth buying. So is the we'll buy a spare part for two. We will buy this for five and this will take us down to eight. Basic game of buying, selling economics. It's actually a pretty darn good game. Oh. Oh, that's good. Receive one point of damage for each item you buy or sell this turn. That's fine. I don't care at this point. Spy is looking to trade ships. Doesn't matter. We're going to go on ahead and sell. So we're going to sell these for 14. One, two. That takes us to eight plus 14 is 22. Take one, two damage. We buy the crystal. Take one point of damage. That's fine. We don't care. Our engineer fixes us back up. Glad I bought the bigger ship. Thank you for coming. Please make sure that you like and subscribe. This is a solid win. I hope you have a really good day and join us again next time. Please like and subscribe.